Hello dear students, today we are going to learn a very new poem from our Bal Bharati textbook. Poem number 25, Little Words. This poem is really very nice to understand how you should behave with your friends and family members. So, first we will see the recitation of the poem and then I will be explaining it to you. Poem number 25, Little Words. Written by Benjamin Keats. Yes, you did too. I did not. Thus by unkind little words, two fond friends were parted. I am sorry, so am I. Thus the little quarrel ended. Thus by loving little words, two bonded. Hearts were mended. So the poem says, in the beginning itself, yes, you did too. Means the friend is very angry and saying, yes, you also did it. How you fight and say? In the same way. And then the other friend says, I did not. Whereas the first is saying, you did it. And then you do this only when you have a quarrel with your friend. You say, you did. Then the other one says, you did. And then you start crying. So in the same manner, the other friend says, no, I did not. And because of this, what happens? Two fond friends. No, they are very close friends. And they have parted. They are not talking to each other because they had a fight. Now, such a nice friendship and the bond between them, yet they are not talking. Then one comes and says, I am sorry. So, when you feel sorry for something, when you go and apologize for the same, your friend also feels the same. So, when one says, I am sorry, the other one says, so am I. So, the other friend is also Sorry for the behavior and they both apologize to each other. Now, when they say sorry to each other, they are now friends again. Because of these words, what has happened? That they are once again friends as they were in the beginning. And now, because of these words, they are friends again. So, this poem is teaching you to keep in mind that you should use words properly. If you do something wrong, you should be sorry for it. Otherwise, your friends will go away from you and you will never be back with them. So, when you do something wrong, when you say something wrong, when you behave wrong, it's your duty to say sorry. And these are the golden words. These golden words you must always keep in mind. Like, sorry, thank you, please, excuse me. And this makes your life easier. You get many friends with you. You do not have any arguments with anybody. So, learn to use these words carefully and see that you don't fight with anybody. Otherwise, a day will come when your best friend will not be talking to you. And you never like it, no? You always want to be with your friends. So, this poem teaches us that you should use these words, little words, very carefully so that you can lead a very happy life where nobody will say that don't talk to me. Everybody will say, wow, you are my best friend. I want to talk to you. I want to be with you. So that's what the poem teaches us. Now let's begin writing the question answers of this poem. Write the date, na name of the lesson and the number. This is poem number 25, Little Words. Exercise 1, write the meanings of. Number one, fond friends. Fond friends means close friends. Number two, parted. Parted means separated. Means going away for some reason. Number three, bonded. Bonded means joined securely. Means coming back together, having love between them. Okay. Next is mended. Mended means repaired. Okay, we mend our shoes. That means we repair it. Exercise number two, punctuate the following. Yes, you did too. I did not. So, you have to give proper punctuation marks. So, answer is in double inverted commas, yes, comma, you did, comma, two. Full stop and close the double inverted commas. And then, I did not. Again, in double inverted comma, I will be capital. Second one, I am sorry, so am I. So, I am sorry in double inverted comma, give a full stop. So am I is again being spoken from someone else. So, it is also in double inverted comma. When somebody speaks something, we always put it in double inverted commas. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग लाइंस फ्रॉम द पोएम फर्स्ट वन दस बाय लिटिल अनकाइंड वर्ड्स डैश 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 टू फॉन फ्रेंड्स वर पार्टेड दे डिड नॉट स्पीक वेल सो दे पार्टेड सेकेंड सेंटेंस दस बाय लविंग लिटिल वर्ड्स टू बॉन्डेड हार्ड्स वर मैंडेड मीन्स दे टू केम क्लोज टूगेदर एंड वॉट एवर पेन्स दे हैड इन दर हार्ट हार्ड फीलिंग्स दैट वर मैंडेड सो बी अटेंटिव टू द क्वेश्चन वेदर इट इज अनकाइंड वर्ड्स और लविंग वर्ड्स बिकॉज वेन यू यूज अनकाइंड वर्ड्स द रिजल्ट इज डिफरेंट एंड वेन यू यूज लविंग वर्ड्स यू गेट टू सी अ डिफरेंट रिजल्ट नाउ एक्सरसाइज नंबर फोर राइट द ऑपोजिट्स ऑफ फर्स्ट वन फ्रेंड्स एनिमीज सेकेंड वन फ्रेंड एनिमी थर्ड वन लव हेट here you can see friends becomes enemies friend becomes enemy purposely i have given both so you don't get confused that is plural and singular form enemy is one enemies are many so y becomes i e s okay question number 5 write the poem in the form of a story and you can see there is no answer this is an open ended question that means you can write it as per your thinking so make a story out of the poem complete your book see you in the next class bye then take care have a great day all of you